Now on health matters and the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers uh, just concluded a press briefing in regards to strike notice that they have just issued and they are attributing their grievances to lack of support from the national government saying they are losing more clinical officers to COVID-19 and this is also coming in with issues in regards to lack of protective care units, uh, protective gears uh, in uh, fighting the COVID-19. Right now, I'm being joined by my colleague, Kamche Menza, who is at the Hill Park Hotel here in Nairobi County. Kamche, what is the latest from that end? All right, Muchuma, good afternoon. They are back in studio. And as we are coming to you live, like you said, from the Hill Park Hotel, here in Nairobi, where the uh, Kenya Union of Clinical Officers, the, the, the leaders, uh, have been ho uh, were addressing us in a press conference here, of course, raising issues of that, that are of concern to them. Uh, we understand that the health sector has been facing issues ever since. Uh, now the issues have been compounded by the outbreak of COVID-19. There are a myriad of issues that they want the national government address in which they, they call, uh, they, they term the whole issue as having been neglected by the government, uh, especially uh, now that the outbreak of COVID-19 is ravaging uh, the Kenyans across the country. But basically, there are a few issues that they are, they are talking about. On Friday, we had them talking about the uh, Health uh, Service Commission. But again, there are a few issues that they have been raising. Number one is the COVID-19 uh, comprehensive cover, especially for the health workers. Then we, they, they are also uh, raising issue on the quality of uh, PPEs that they are being provided for in the hospitals. And then again, there is the issue of uh, the uh, vulnerable group, uh, which they say uh, is actually the one that is facing uh, the high number of fatalities in the hospital. Uh, these including the elderly, uh, the pregnant, and the ones with their pre-existing conditions. But without further ado, uh, I'm joined by a, a general secretary for the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers, who will actually uh, tell us more about uh, the ne their next step. Uh, of course, for now, they have called uh, the president. They have asked the president to convene a meeting between them and him, actually, to discuss on these issues, saying that their employers, being the governor in the counties, are not actually mismanaging them. So uh, without further ado, let me bring on board uh, John. George uh, Gibore, who will actually shed more light uh, on this issue. Bona Gibore Karibu. Number one, we understand that you've just told us that you will, you might be uh, calling for a nationwide strike over these issues. Just expound to us what ag actually are these issues. Uh, Mesa, thank you for having me. And I need to explain to Kenyans that uh, indeed, since the first case that we had for COVID-19 here in the country, we have raised several concerns on the safety of the healthcare workers and actually did several advisory to the government to ensure that we can be able to, to uh, adopt certain practical measures to, that we can be able to safeguard the life of healthcare workers and those of Kenyans. One, we have said that those healthcare workers who are 55 and above of age should be excused from active duty, including those who are pregnant, and those with pre-existing conditions. But this has not happened. And we have said several countries, including Ethiopia, who are our neighbor here, Ghana, Egypt, and elsewhere in like Australia, these people have been excused from, uh, excused from active duty. And this has saved several lives. And we need to say that we also advise the ministry that once we have developed these policies including what kind of PPEs do we need to use in our outpatient and once we are seeing any patient must be adhered to and must be used. And I'm sorry to say that all these policies that we provided are not being implemented more specifically in the public sector and we are worried about this. The other issue we ask the government is to ensure that all the healthcare workers who get sick, they must designate facilities where they can be able to be attended without disturbance. But unfortunately, up to date, there is no facility designated for healthcare workers across the country. What comes bad of them is that the government promised that it will ensure that it incur costs of medication for all the healthcare workers. But they have actually gone back and they recall that statement. And you heard the CS of the recent past 
stating that they do not have fund in the NHF which can be able to cater for medication for all the healthcare workers in this country, including other, uh, other Kenyan. We have been left to foot our own bill where we contribute to actually ensure that we are, we are paying the bills and also for those who have succumbed, I can give a good example of, of, of uh, an us who died here in KU. We were forced to 250,000 to cater for the body to be released. And this is a shameful to this government. Ours is to call for the government and the president to prioritize the issues of life for Kenyan and the healthcare workers so that we can be able to save life okay. and actually discern this politicking where we can do politics after we have saved life. Okay. We will not have life that will celebrate what they are doing politi uh, in, in terms of constitutional amendment if we don't safeguard the life of Kenya. Okay, your cries are to have these issues or rather these the demands addressed have been on for a long time. What is your cause, uh, next cause of action? Uh, the next cause of action is that we as the union, we are considering to call our advisory councils and we will be discussing on what is the ultimate way forward now. And for that, we have asked that the president before even then need to consider having a meeting with the leadership to actually listen to them. What is the issue? Because he has been having meetings with the political class who do not even seek services in the public sector and continue mislying, uh, lying to him and misguiding him on how we need to move on. We are saying we as the healthcare workers and the leadership, we have the solution and we can be able to speak to him. We have enough healthcare workers. We have people who can serve. And similarly, if this is not going to happen, we are saying in the next seven days we are rallying all the other healthcare workers and if allowed by our advisory council, we will call for a nationwide strike that can be able to go and tell Kenyans that indeed we are losing life because of mismanagement and disjointed and coordinated uh, effort to safeguard the life of Kenyans. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank well, Muchuma, like you've heard it, this is yet another presser that they've given unto us. And remember, the KMPD also had another presser, of course, concerning the same issue. This is the health sector. So what they are saying is that there might be a, a lack of seamless flow of healthcare services at the hospitals in the next seven days if their demands are not addressed. That is it from here. Back to you in studio, Muchuma. Thank you, Kamche. Kamche Menza engaging Kenya Union of Clinical Officers Secretary General George Kibore writes from Nairobi County regards to health matters.